All right, Shalom. Well, let's we'll start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS. And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. All right. Um, <clears throat> this is something I had been reading while I was studying, and it's the Book of Sirach, the 17th chapter. Okay. And um, it was a point I got to. And through the spirit, decide to do a lesson on. Okay, so um, this is Sirach, or the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter seventeen, and um, I'm gonna actually start at verse ten, but the point is in a is it eighteen? No, 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 no. The point is in um, fourteen. Okay, so this is Sirach. Okay, chapter 17 and verse uh, 10, it says, and the elect, okay, because that's who this is all about. This is what this is all for, the edifying, you know, of the elect, okay, of the nation of Israel, okay. It says, Sirach 17 and 10, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Okay, you see that? Okay, the elect is going to, gonna praise the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? Uh, beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage, okay? The way to live, the, the, the heritage, okay? Which is our way of life, okay? Which is our whole everything, okay? Um, he made an everlasting covenant with them, you see, now, right here, just from these couple of uh, verses, this is excluding not only the whole, every other nation, but it's also excluding uh, two-thirds of our people, okay? So, that cuts so-called Christianity, man, okay? Because this is speaking about the elect. All right, he said he made an everlasting covenant with them, not to say that the rest of our nation won't return, but they will, okay, and they're going to return through the elect, all right? He says he made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments, not everybody, them. It says their eyes saw the majesty of his glory and their ears heard his glorious voice. <clears throat> so like you. He and he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness, okay? And that's the point I want to get to, okay? Because the Lord ain't with unrighteousness, man. Contrary to popular belief, okay? It says, and he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness, and he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor, okay? And like I said, the point was, he said, Beware of all right unrighteousness. And how does he do that? He does it through his prophets, Okay, <clears throat> preaching his holy word because this word is is righteous. This word is holy and righteous and pure. Okay, untainted. Okay, so the Lord said, "Beware of all unrighteousness." Okay, and we know that the world is full of unrighteousness because He gave it into the hands of the unrighteous. All right, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Most High gave the wicked the authority over the earth, okay, as a punishment for us, all right, us Israelites, okay? So the Lord said, beware of all unrighteousness, okay? Now, <clears throat> what does the Lord say about unrighteousness? He's against it, okay? That's why, like, when you read, um, I get that Isaiah 10 and 1. What does it say? Which is a common scripture that we bring out, all right? And I'll just read it Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, okay? <clears throat> Woe meaning death and destruction, okay? So the Heavenly Father is not with unrighteousness, okay? Contrary to so called Christianity. Okay, where it says God loves everybody. Okay, God don't love everybody. 
He's even going to exclude two-thirds of his people from salvation, okay? They're going to taste that lake of fire, okay? So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh does not love everyone, okay? He's always warned against unrighteousness all the way back uh, to Noah. As a matter of fact, um, I'll bring that out. And that's in the book of Hebrews, back where I was reading earlier, in the 11th chapter, all right? <clears throat> and this is Hebrews 11 and 7. <clears throat> it says, by faith, Noah being warned of the heavenly father of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, okay, by the which he condemned the world. Why? Why was he condemning the world? Because it was, it, it fell into darkness. Okay? And it fell into wickedness. Okay? He condemned the world and became heir Salakia. The which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. You see that? Let me read it one more time. By faith, Noah, being warned of Yahabashim Yahushai, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark, okay, to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world. He condemned the world, okay? As the scriptures say, friendship of the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father, okay? Because the world is given into the hand of the wicked. It's, it's, it's being ruled in unrighteousness. So the Lord always warned against unrighteousness, okay? <clears throat> Salakia, okay? Um, this is James 4 and 4, ye adulterers and adulteresses, all right? The men and the women that's going off. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is a is the enemy of the heavenly father you see because the world is given into the hand of the wicked and it's being ruled by the wicked okay in wickedness unrighteousness okay which the lord is always warned against but so-called christianity will tell you just go along get along okay and that's contrary to the scriptures okay um let me see Uh, let me see something. Check this. Okay, I'm not going to bring that out. Uh, but I will get this scripture. <clears throat> and this is from the book of uh, Psalms 5 and 4. All right. And that's why this place has to be destroyed, man. Okay? Because here they tell you good is 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 bad and, and bad is good. Okay? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna get grab that scripture too. Okay. <clears throat> uh this is Psalms five and four. It says, For thou art not a power that had pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight, thou hatest all workers of iniquity. You see? So the Most High has never been with this man, okay? <clears throat> He's always warned against unrighteousness, all right? And um, back where I started in Sirach 17, in 14 it says, And he said unto them, Beware of all unrighteousness, all right? So as men of the hopeful elect, we are to beware of all unrighteousness. Okay, because that the Most High hath no pleasure in wickedness, and neither shall evil dwell with him. All right. Um, let me grab that scripture what I was quoting Isaiah five. I think it's twenty Isaiah five and twenty. Let's see. Yep, 
Yeah, check out how it started. This is Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, Woe unto them. You see? Death and destruction again. They call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's the ways of this world, man. Okay? That's why the Most High, if you're a friend of this world, is, is enmity with the Heavenly Father. Okay? Beware of all unrighteousness, okay? Um, and the most the most high has never been with that. Alright. Um I had a scripture wrote down. Let me get this, see if it's see if I'll bring this out. Okay. Uh Yeah, I'll bring this out, okay? Um, this is Proverbs 13 and uh, 21. It says, evil pursueth sinners, okay? Because they're into sin, okay? They, they, they indulge in it, all right? But to the righteous, good shall be repaid. So beware of all unrighteousness. Follow after righteousness, man. Because good shall be repaid unto those that do. All right? And ultimately, the elect. Okay? Because remember, that's where we started with Sirach and 17. In the book of Sirach 17. Or Ecclesiasticus. All right? The elect. Okay? Um, let me see. Let me see. Look at this other scripture. I have another scripture wrote down. Let me see if I bring this out. If not, I'll close it on that. Um, I'll bring this out. This is Proverbs 28 and uh, 10. It says, Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray is in an evil way. Okay? That causes the righteous to go astray. All right, is in the evil way, and that's all the ways of this world. And who's ruling this world? Esau, Edom. Okay, headed up by Amalek. All right. Um. He that turned away his ear from a uh, Salakia, whoso causes it, Proverbs twenty eight and ten, whoso causes the righteous to go astray is in an evil way, because the Most High. Don't take no pleasure in unrighteousness. He shall fall himself into his own pit, okay? But the upright shall have good things in possession. You see? The ones that are upright, okay? Following after righteousness, all right? So beware of all unrighteousness, okay? Which are the ways of this world, okay? We have to follow, we have to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, and the ways that he set forth for us to live righteously, all right? So with that, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying, this lesson, all right? And um, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory again to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Rechav, Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS. And we'll say peace and blessings unto the elect, all right? And until the next time, I say shalom.